I'm Scott Allen Miller and this is my vlog of daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua. Today I was out filming Via Democracia, but I stumbled on Los Jardines de Ariac and we are going to take you around this super northern barrio and help you get an understanding of what the northern and western most extent of the city of Leon is actually like. So a little disjointed because it was a surprise to be showing up and filming this particular barrio at this particular time, but it was really interesting. I think you guys are going to enjoy this one. We end up, let's just say, in the jungle. So. Let's see it right after that bump. Let's see. All right, so they got steps right there. You could go through over to, over to their frontage. Now we're getting pretty rural, getting some dirt roads. They're still paving down there. Just a little bit of dirt in between. Check out this road. I think this is where we're supposed to go. We're gonna bop through on this kind of curving dirt path. Oh, we got a dog over here on the left in the little yard. Hello, doggy. And then lots in the road. Got a nice house here on the left. And then this doggy. And another little shop on the right. There's definitely like a hill here that the roads are going around. Notice everything to our left has been up. So we're going around a hill. Oh, big house on the right. Dog guarding the steps. Oh, we have a sports field up here. Okay, we're gonna walk through. Let's go see what's going on. This dog could not find a hot dog on the field, so he's off in search of more food. This is not the first sporting event that I have stumbled on today. There was a soccer game in Sutiava. I wanted to film it, but then the storm rolled in and everybody ran away, so. That one disappeared. This one's still going on. Looks like, looks like kickball. Kickball again? How did we not know about kickball? I have to organize an old people's kickball team. Oh, more welding on the right. Look away. <clears throat> okay, we've got an entrance right here and a field. Hola! <laughs> Gracias. All right, check this out. This is an adult kickball game. This is, well, there's some kids too. There's both. This is awesome. First of all, what a beautiful area. Especially with the storm rolling in, this is perfect. And uh, let's see this pitch. Oh. oh, they caught it. He's out. She's out. All right, we're off. I guess we're walking down here now. How oh, cool. Always something going on everywhere. That is the that is the Nicaragua vibe. But everything's always community stuff. Oh, we're gonna go back this way. Hola!
Hola. Es uh, para YouTube. Sí. Tengo un canal de... All right, we are heading back up a little bit. So I was worried that the Google Maps were off a little bit. So this is not, and you can tell that it changed a little bit. So you can kind of estimate where it is one place and where it is another. So this is Los Jardines de Ariac, which I knew was in the area, but I thought I hadn't gone too far north yet. But apparently, Google Maps is wrong. That's why it's handy to talk to the locals. So they just stopped me and said, no, 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 this isn't Democracia. Okay, check out this house on the left. That is modern frontage. Looks like current work going on. Very cool. They've got like modern, uh, modern gates, modern railing, modern windows and doors on an old style structure with old drainage and a very small garage but as always examples of the cool things you can do anywhere Okay, we got, got some interesting spots to walk here. I don't really know what makes sense. Let's take this path. Who doesn't just take a random path? Okay, we got a fire pit over here. This is where they burn the trash. <coughs> Which I'm in the smoke, that's great. That's handy. It's like a grave. It's where trash goes to die. All right. Where do we think the path goes? Everybody get down in those comments. Don't wait until we get somewhere. Tell me what you think we're gonna find. Oh, more trash, of course. Of course, that was, a, that was an easy one. Anyone who said more trash, you do not get points for the easy answers. It's very quiet though. So we are at the edge of the city. Uh, Los Jardines is the westernmost of the northern regions of Leon. So everything to my left is basically countryside and everything to the right is the farthest extents of the city. If we were to go left, we would end up in the wild area south of, well, at some point we would hit, first we would hit Heroes and Martires. I believe this is correct. Heroes, Heroes y Martires. Oh, there's a little tiny path going back there. Uh, De Sutiava. And then the the fields, and then you'd end up south of Cerro de Oro out in the fields. Something tells me not a lot of people come back here. But I hear music, and I see a dark sky. I can still hear the people playing soccer. That's uh, that's handy to have kind of a reference sound. Adio! Okay, so this area over here that we're walking past is really an orchard that's causing it to be the edge of the city. But that makes sense. All right, if we go off to the left, who knows what we're gonna find here? Ugh. Shall explore. Okay, so we found where one of the rivers goes and where some of the chickens go. If you're wondering, it doesn't smell great. You got a cute little house though. Imagine having a cute little house on this little walkway in the middle of nowhere. And as always, if this was clean, it would be really cool. And I'm walking on sandbags. This has clearly been barricaded to keep it from collapsing into the stream. It looks like, I think we're coming up on the, on the river. So this is gonna be a hard stop to the city. Uh, 
All right, this is pretty cool. Nope, it's not the river, but it is where the streams go to the river. And you can see there's a path on the other side. I'm not hopping over that and going exploring, but it would be really cool. I'm very tempted. It's very neat. Look at that sky though. We are dark. <laughs> and there's a cool fence here. Adio. Adios. I'm just gonna go a little bit more north and show you what's here. Look, he's gonna go it. He's he's going. He's got somewhere to be. Oh, there's the river. This is cool. Okay. The places we go on our little adventures. This is a very lazy river coming through here. Look at all the cows. What a cool sight this is. Oh my gosh. So try to imagine it without the trash. It would be the coolest. It is so peaceful out here. And this river has this, such a deep green cut with this lazy river and the cows just hanging out in the deep lush green over there. And then the river goes around a bend. It's so perfect. This is like a movie setting. They should film movies here and use the proceeds or the pre-seeds to clean it all up and make it perfect. Look how green this gets. We just get lost in the foliage here. This is amazing. I'm walking over a huge thing of ants. Hopefully that's not a problem. And there's a horse over there on that other bank. Oh, something bit me. Oh, that's great. And then this path goes off through this, which I'm, I'm not going through there. Sorry, people. But, wow. We found something really interesting. Now, I don't expect any of you to be running out and buying a house in this particular area, but you can dream of the possibilities of what neat things exist. Sorry, I had to stop there for a second. I had a shoe malfunction. And uh, this is the coolest. Very, very cool. All right, I got to climb my way out of here. All right, I'm back here. You guys talked me into it. This is too cool not to go. But... I'm a big old guy. Can I go up this? Does this work? Can I, can I really? Well, that was easy. <laughs> okay, this is cool. Yes, yes, you guys were right. Already worth it. Seriously, I feel like I'm in a movie. How, how does the edge of the second largest city in the country. That's a path going down to where we were. I just don't want to go through all those weeds. How is the second largest city in the country like this one block outside of the city limits? Seriously. And there's the river. And there's a, there's a portage or a ford or something. Oh my gosh, so cool. Let's get down here. All right. Okay, I got a sandbag here. Oh, look, we got a, a crane or an egret down there. I hope you can see it. And there's a house in the middle there. Oh my gosh, that's the coolest. We got a little river over there and the big river over here. I am totally gonna fall into this river. This is the most ridiculous thing that Scott has done on the channel. Ever. I'm standing in the middle of the river. I mean, I'm certainly not going to drown out here, right? We're all good. But look at that tree. This is, this is, are you kidding me territory? I didn't know this existed. Okay, my foot is in the water. Here we go, here we go. All right. I've done dumber. 
Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Okay. <laughs> okay, that is where we came from. What? So cool. Man, you guys talked me into the coolest stuff. All right. We're now walking through a jungle. A little path going off to the left as well. It is dark out here. I really hope the storm doesn't suddenly come. Okay, we're walking along that little waterway over there. Feel a little bit awkward walking through here. There has never been a tourist here in the history of this place. There's a chicken. Hola, buenas tardes. <laughs> My gosh. Now there's a little tiny ravine on the left. Definitely just when it rains, there's a little bit of water there, but oh my gosh, this is cool. And a path going off that way, and this big one going this way, and it's still all. We are in the jungle. And La Jungla. What have we stumbled on? There's like a community back here. Aha! We are now in the community roughly that we i had no idea there was a way across the river when we were doing our walk william fonseca go watch that video if you haven't seen it i ended up going through a field and coming upon a cemetery well we're in a community attached to that how did this happen this is amazing There are most definitely things biting my leg. There's a little kitty sleeping on the bags. A little kitty. Adio! This is this is all so unexpected and a lot of people and bikes. Buenas tardes. All right. So we're heading kind of north. So the cemetery is kind of off this direction. And look, there's power and street lights. That's a street light in front of us. And uh, I am not climbing this hill. I'm not in that mood right now. But this was amazing. I'm not going to wander for forever because there's a storm potential. But this is cool. We can come back and do this another time. Let me know when you guys want to see more of this. Adio. For those who are ultra adventurous, I hope these really wacky, adio, really wacky walks give you some... Uh, some dream fodder because there's so much like if you're just looking for something different you want to be away from everything you've known you want to try something totally 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 outside of your ken and uh you're not looking for luxury you're not looking for 
replicating a North American lifestyle. I know for a lot of my viewers, it's like, okay, this is interesting, but never, ever, ever would that be me. Adio. But for some of you, I know you're watching this and going, oh, wait, what if I wanted to be off the beaten path, but not completely away from people, not utterly in wilderness, but so impossible to locate, so not connected to familiarity. Notice we got a shop here on the left. I didn't see them as we came by the other direction. So we got food and drinks. You can charge your phone. Looks like they have some clothing too, just a little bit. I was still in shock of having stumbled on a village <laughs> after having forded a river. All right, we're heading back into the jungle. Oh, we got a field over here. Check it out. A lot of chickens down in the ravine. So, oh, sorry, the bronchitis is kicking my butt just a little bit. So like with so many places, you know, if you, if you were interested in a totally off the grid or off the map kind of lifestyle, none of these roads are on Google map. This is very much a just go get lost, but you can see how easy it would be to get a plot of land somewhere out here. You've got the option of electricity. You've got wells, I assume. I doubt that there's municipal water out here. You definitely have cell service. That's not a problem. You can, you can kind of make a home out here without being absolutely adventurous. There's still emergency services and such. There's still neighbors. There's still a little shop. And it's not a hard walk back to town, but it is a long one. And there's that whole river thing. Big storm, I bet that river's pretty hard to cross. And this lazy water over here, just gorgeous. And the sound here. Now this is flowing from my left, from the west to the east. So it's actually, it appears to be essentially clean. So that's coming from the farming communities, not from the city. So it doesn't get all that waste runoff the way that city waterways do. And we are back at the real river and there's people crossing it. Let's get over so we can watch this. Look at all the people. No matter where you go, no matter how much you think you've ended up beyond civilization, there's a crowd of people right there who've been there before you and coming right after. Oh, she's heading up to that really cool spot. Man, I could handle a house there. I don't know what I'd do with it, but it would be cool. That'd be when I'm tired of talking to people, I would go there. Okay, here's the rocks I don't like. Hold on, here we go. All right, we're almost there. We've survived. Hola. Hola. <laughs> All the locals are like, this guy's an idiot. And he is, and he is. Imagine this being your walk into the city. I'm out for a stroll into the city. <laughs> la la la. This is so cool. Little path going up there, probably a house or a field up there. Ooh, I hear thunder again. I want to turn off the camera to let it cool down a little bit, but this is such a cool area. I don't want to pass any of this up. <clears throat> And we're back to that little cut. All right, I'm gonna jump across this like a man. Look at how much trash is collected in that particular spot. That's terrible. Oh, it's so easy to clean it out. Hire a crew, come down for a day. It would all come back, but it's a start. All right, I'm gonna head down this little path here and uh, we're gonna pick up on the other end. Whew, it is warm and humid. All right, we're still in Los Jardines de Ariac. This is the street that we were on. This is the one that has that dirt path over the river. I just wanted to show where we are as I come back to this corner. So this is, I believe, 12th, or it's at least a street east of 13th. Not all of them are numbered, not all of them go through. 
there is actually before we go that way whew, there's a lot of walking with bronchitis so sorry i'm uh and uh just gonna turn this around got a little housing development here some houses close you can hear water flowing underneath of us so there's some washes here and then there's another path going around just check this out And we're going to head southbound and uh, see more of Los Sardines. So let's go. All right, here we go. We're walking southbound. Hola. Oh, there's a puppy sleeping. All right. Hopefully this isn't the street we came down. I think I've managed to get some variety. Now it probably is because we had that, the way that we came up on that kickball game. Oh no, this is the street I went down. So we're back to that little cutoff that I took. That's why the map was confusing. All right. Okay. So let's spin this around. All right, the area behind me is Los Jardines de Ariac. That is the Gardens of Ariac here in Leon. It's a very small barrio, really interesting. That was something very different. So we are now coming back into La Dem Democracia, Via Democracia. So we're going to uh, wrap up there. We got this barrio done. That was a good walk. I am sweaty from that one. So thanks everybody for joining me. That was great. Like and subscribe if you'd like to help support the channel. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. Let me know down in the comments down below what you think about all these barrio walks and places that we explore. It is a lot of fun to do, and uh, it's been great. I will see all of you tomorrow.